All right, guys, here we are live doing a live trade. Um, I'm gonna show you guys basically what's going on. All right, you see it going up to a dollar eight. I got it to I got it to automatically right here. The stock symbol C R I S. <clears throat> I got it to automatically sell at a dollar ten. Right here, I did a limit price dollar ten. I've got 935 shares of this thing, so we're just basically it's been just dragging at a dollar. You know, got it. I'll, I'll show you. I don't want to back out right now of this because I got it right where I want it to, to look at it. But right now it's a dollar eight. This is the, this is the the thing you'll go through, guys, when you're day trading. You're like you sometimes. That's that's why sometimes you really don't want to come look at this, because it will drive you crazy. You're you're sitting here going, come on, come on, come on. This is the reason why you guys see those people. You ever seen those people at stock market, stock exchanges when they jump up, turn back, or flip, and put their hands way up in there? Yeah. Three fifty dollar Swiss. They're excited because they just made you know. $500 or $2,000 or whatever, you know. This little number right here. Now, I messed up. I didn't buy as many shares as I should. Here's what I here's what I bought. I bought a and the reason being is cuz I I didn't mess up. I just couldn't. I only had so I only had a limit right now cuz I just started with Webull and I don't have my full amount in there that I can spend. Um, so I could only spend, they only gave me $1,000 to spend until my $7,000, I, I deposited 7000 but it's taken two to three business days for it to settle in there in funds or whatever before they give it to me. So right now they're only letting me, uh, they do let you go ahead and uh, they give you some money, like they gave me $1,000 to mess with, but for obvious reasons guys, you know, uh, you know, I don't know if you guys know, which is why why we're we. I'm not gonna let you. I don't want you guys to get a margin account. We'll actually talk about it later. Margin account, which is what I'm on right now, but I'm gonna change back to cash. Margins are where you actually borrow the money. They'll actually they'll actually front you the money. Here's the problem with that. If you get messed up, guys, and you get upside down, now you're owing them freaking money, and they're gonna they're gonna call and want your money, want their money. So there you are. You know, so that's what I'm saying. We as my students, guys, I do not want you guys to do that. <clears throat> so here we're going. This is this is the boring process. Okay, see now it's starting to push again. Now these are what they call candlesticks. I mean, when you get when you get, most people love the candlesticks. I actually don't because I don't really, I don't do all that stuff these other guys do. See, see when you got these candlesticks, you're like literally see it. You're seeing these people buying, buying, sell, buying, sell. In fact, uh, I could put that on here. Like it, can sh it actually shows you. In fact, let's uh, let me do that. Well, hold on, hold on. I want you guys to uh, celebrate with me if this thing hits a dollar ten. Here's the thing, though, guys. It 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 could literally right now. Everybody and their brother could just go. You know what? I'm done. And start selling. And you didn't reach your dollar ten. Now I can sell right now. But if I sell right now at a dollar and seven cent, just to show you with the software. If I sell at a dollar seven cent. I bought it at ninety six cent. I sell at a dollar seven. Hit the enter. I'd make a hundred bucks. Still a hundred bucks, guys. Hundred bucks. But I'm thinking and banking that you know we can pull out another twenty-five dollars because if I get three more cent, hundred twenty-eight. So once again, guys, I'm gonna I'm you'll you'll learn all this stuff where you, see even though I've got it autom automatically programmed to sell at a dollar ten. I could go. I could go modify the order right now, and change it to a dollar eight. Okay, so if I did it at a dollar eight, what would it be? Dollar. It'd be a hundred ten bucks. Okay, so is it worth sitting here for another thirty minutes? Because we're now we're stuck here watching this stupid crap. If we hadn't have been stuck here, we'd be be out. See, I was in a pool earlier, and while this while this whole thing was going out here, here in fact, here let me show you this one. Let me show you this little deal. I uh hold on. There's another one I'm doing. Where the freak did you go? Well, I'm just gonna show you to you. Here it is. Alright, let me show you let me show you it on this chart right here. Look what this thing's done, guys. It started out this morning at nine thirty. It opened at eighty five cent. Now I bought it at what was it, ninety six cent, I think. But now I bought this yesterday. And it didn't it didn't do what I wanted it to do, so I had to hold it, which is which is what I teach you guys. You don't want to lose money, so I held it. Um, and in fact, here let me just show you. It was right around. This is yesterday, right here. See, June six. This is a five day chart, guys. It actually shows you five days what this thing does. I bought it right around here, and then it poof, tanked. 
96 cent. I was hoping, you know, with that push that went up, I was hoping to buy it right there. I was hoping they're going, I was hoping they're going to make another push, but they didn't. That's the thing, guys. You just never know. That's that's why this is kind of so exciting. You never know. Um. All right, this is live right here, too, guys. It's showing you. So when it hits a dollar ten, we just made whatever it is, 128 bucks, right? But now, like I said, it's only because I could I could spend 900 bucks, which got me 935 shares. You, we we want you to get up to a 5,000 spend, guys. In fact, let me just show you. Or like let's say 5,000 shares. If you'd have bought 5,000 shares. 5,000 shares, that's what we would have made so far, guys. Now, that would have cost us $4,811. This is why you guys want to get that bank, man. Get that roll up, guys. Get that cheese rolling up. Get that cheese up, right? Because you want to be... Hold on. Got to be looking at my stock, man. You want to be trading with $5,000. And here, that's why. That's why. That's why. See the, see the kind of profit? Versus the 100 and something dollars that I'm making? Because because we bull... Um, now, I, I couldn't trade it on my... Uh, my Wells Fargo trading account, which I wish, because they closed the freaking thing. Yesterday, I wanted, I told them I wanted to take all the freaking, I wanted to transfer all that freaking money out of there. And they, they literally just closed, I didn't know they was going to close it. I literally went in a day to make some trades, because cause I only had so much, you know, I already, I already maxed my money out on here. I only had $1,000 on Weeble. Went over to make some trades, and freaking it wouldn't let me. Sorry, this account can no longer accept trades. I'm like, what the freak? Crazy Wells Fargo. All right, so we got 935 shares, is that right? Yeah, at 900 bucks, we did a 900 dollars spin. <clears throat> All right, so we're looking at a dollar eight right now. Now this here, this Google screen will refresh ever so many seconds. I tried to count it one time, and I forgot now. But it'll refresh itself and tell you where the stock's at. Now I'm on the five-day chart, but anyway, my point is, I I bought somewhere around right here yesterday. Like I was again, guys, this is June 6. There's the third, fourth, and fifth is in there somewhere. But June 6 and June 7, that's today. So today at June the 7, it started off. Wait, 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 wait. Right there. 9.30. See see the bubble right up here, guys? 9.30, and it started off at 85 cents. See where it says 85 cents? And then it just kept going. But one, oh, guys, $1.09. About to hit. About to hit. Now, here's the thing, though, guys. It may not freaking hit. Now, this here is not as laser-tuned as your Weeble. That is almost, it's almost like lagging. See, it says a dollar eight, but um, let me see. There's the dollar ten mark right over there. There's see, see, and I have it auto automatically to sell it at dollar ten. This is what I like about the Weeble. Uh, de this is the desktop version, guys. Here, see right here, it actually even tells me. It gives me a line to where the dollar ten is. That line is all the way across there. Let me see if I can. Let me see if I can pull it in so you can see. See, see right there, guys. See how it's that line? See right there, it's a dollar. Dollar eight five right there, and a dollar ten is right there. So it literally puts this, your sale price. I like that. It puts you over so you can kind of see where your line is, where it needs to reach. I mean, no big deal. Well, here we go. Here we go, guys. Another another candlestick. It should push. It should push right. Oh, all right. Red means it's going down. That means people are selling. <laughs> it doesn't mean nothing though, because you know, see how it's backing back up. Come on, push it up right now. Let's see if, let's see if that thing will turn green in just a second. There it go. Here we go. <clears throat> Once again, all right, dollar nine, guys. Dollar nine, it should push on up, bro. I'm thinking it's going to. When it once it hits a dollar ten, the the system is programmed to automatically sell, guys. Isn't this crazy how this works? It's just it's just meeting some resistance right now. I'm just trying to push up, bro. Come on, dollar nine. Here we go. Here we go. It should pop on up, bro. <laughs> and it's kind of crazy, guys. The emotions. That's why you really don't want to get stuck. Don't be going down now. 1.8, oh, but three tenths. It went down three tenths. All right, going back up. That's why you don't really want to get caught up in this, looking at this stuff, guys. You will freak to freak out. It's kind of exciting, but it ain't. Ex it literally will depress you. You can literally get depressed when your freaking price don't hit. Phew, I'm not going to talk about that right now. Let's go, let's go positive. Come on, baby. Hit my dollar ten now. Okay, so if I cashed out right now, which I'm not going to because I want you guys to see this automatically process. But if I did crap prior 1.085, 114 bucks. So you see the difference? Just that little five tenths of a whatever it is of a cent makes 114 versus just one more cent. Now I'm thinking that it's gonna 
keep pushing up. And the reason being is because it's been steadily going up. These guys have been just kind of pushing it up steadily all day long. You guys remember when I showed you that while ago, right? Where's that at? Right here. Darn it. It's been, okay, let's go, I'm going to go back to one day chart. One day, just click on there. See how it's just been steadily? These guys have been pushing it up. They haven't been doing that, letting it tank and going. come. They've literally just been steadily pushing up. So I'm thinking, like I said, I'm trying to get in the minds of all these other guys that are selling. In fact, let me show you something. If I could. I'm trying to figure this out on Weeble. It actually tells you the volume, which is the people, the amount of people that is actually trading. Where is that at? Right there. Right there. You see it right there, guys? 30,433 people at the volume. That's how many people's trading that right now. I don't think that's the total, though, because he. Maybe I'm still trying to figure this out. This uh, we pull out, but the volume basically all that means, guys, is how many people is actually trading right now. That's what that means. All right, guys, you're right here with me now. All right, another candlestick. See, it actually this is this is the one minute candlestick. So every minute we'll get a new candlestick. Now, once again, I don't think I've trained you on this, but I'll actually will give you a video on the candlestick stuff. Now, if I wanted to go to see right here's the candlestick candle. If I want to go to the line chart, which is what I like, see now we're just looking at lines, just like psh, 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 psh. you don't see the you don't see the fine tune of uh, people actually up and down, up and down. You're just you're just watching the, a line. All right, went down to dot eight five. <clears throat> I'm gonna go back to candlesticks, just so we can watch this. See how see how you got to have patience, guys. That's why. You really just kind of... Alright, turn back green, guys. That means people blind. Come on. Push it up, baby. Push it up. I don't want to make this video forever. I'm right, hitting another candlestick. Right there. Come on, guys. We just need one more freaking cent. And then we can cut this video off. But see, we're, so far we've been, what, 12 minutes we've been watching this. Just trying to squeeze... Alright, dollar nine. You guys watching that? You guys are watching that, aren't you? You guys are watching the... Dollar nine, the, the right here basically is what I'm talking about. That's that's just where it's showing you where it's going off. It's showing you right here too in this green bubble, but this right here is is a, a chart that you can put here. So you can move these charts around, guys. That's a, that's a quote chart. What did I just do? I think I just still getting used to this stupid crap. Come on, man. All right, where did my freaking quotes charts go? Right, that's my working orders. Where did my quotes chart go? I'm gonna be done mess around and not knowing when it hits a dollar ten. Well, the quote chart somewhere around here. I don't know where it went. You gotta mess up with that stupid stuff, man. Oh Lord, what have I done now? Active trade, trade. Okay, you can take that off. Okay, put it over there. Okay, where did my freaking chart go? That's my chart. Trade chart. I'll put that over there. Here's my trade. Here's my orders. Here's my positions. Where did my quote go? Diamond. Let's see. Add a widget. Oh, widgets. Orders, positions. Be a quote. Oh, loop. There it is. Quote. Quote. Well, anyway, things acting all stupid, man. Why can't it just be simple? I'm gonna try to move this down here. There's my quotes. There's my trade. I don't want it over there, though. I want it over here. Can't you just? 
Okay, it put it right there, but that ain't where I want it. I want it right here. I'll eventually figure this out, guys. I'm just going to leave it right there. It just lets me drag right there. Trade. I don't need that anyway, really, because it's going to automatically set it. It's automatic. Ooh! Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes, guys. Here it comes. Come on, tenth of a cent, guys. Tenth of a cent. Push it the freak up. Where are my daggone... There it is. Hit. It already hit. It hit. Hold on. Minimize. Remove. I want to remove that stupid crap. It hit, but did it feel it? Ding! Right there. Oh, that's my price alert. Okay, but the price alert weren't sale. Alright, that's my price alert. I actually see it. All right, let me, I'm glad that did that, guys. Alright, it hit, so it should be selling right now. Dollar ten. Dollar ten. Oh my gosh, would you stop? <laughs> Get used to this weeble lip. I wanted to automatic sell. I could go manually do it right now, which is what I'm thinking about doing if it don't sell. Why is it not selling? Dollar ten. Just wait, guys. It may, it maybe it's taking some time. Like I said, this is my first time on Weebull. I'm getting trying to get used to this. Quantity limit dollar ten. It should be selling right now. Orders. Where's my? Uh... There's another little. Order field. Boom. There it is, guys. Okay, filled the order. Order field, your order to sell 935. Chris has, has been filled at $1.10. All right, now look. Now watch. Now, obviously, this is probably going to keep going up. But here's the thing, guys. We don't do that. As my students, we're not gamblers. We're not going to get all caught up in that gambling crap, okay? Can you do it? Yes. And some of you will. Don't do it, guys. 90% of all day traders lose money because of the gambling stuff. I mean, yeah, of course we we would love we would have loved to went and, went and modified that, canceled that order, canceled that limit order. We'd have loved to do that, right? Sure, we would have, because we're sitting there watching this, and it's probably going to keep going up. But that's the thing—you never know if it's going to. This is my other one, guys, that I'm that I'm doing today. Uh, Wells Fargo has this one. My brokerage account at Wells Fargo, and it needs to go up to a dollar twenty-five, and it supposedly hit a dollar twenty-five day. But here's my question: it, That order was open and it was programmed to sell at dollar twenty-five, but I can't tell over at Wells Fargo because they done they done shut that account down because I transferred all my stuff out of her. They shut that one down, so it says I can't trade anymore. So I don't know if my automatically trade automated trades was was canceled or what. But if it did, this one had a dollar twenty-five. I had bought it at a dollar fifteen, I think it was. Hold on, hold on, I got it right here. Okay. You got to write this stuff down, guys. You'll forget it. I, I bought it at dollar fifteen. Okay, so I bought that one. And I bought uh, I bought two thousand shares. Oh, was it two thousand shares? Oh, here, got it right here. Um, 1739 shares. 1739 shares. So I paid, I paid $1,600 for 1739 shares. At a dollar, at a dollar fifteen. Dollar fifteen, and we're gonna sell it. It was supposed to sell automated. That's 145 dollars right there, guys. On that one, if Wells Fargo sold it, but if they didn't, they just screwed me. Which is why I'm glad I'm leaving them, man. But I really, I mean, they—they've—I've always had problems with it. Well, with that bank. Mm. All right, there you go, guys. That was a live trade. Show you guys live how this was working. Pretty cool, right? I mean, it's pretty. 
All right, look, 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 look. Going down. See what I'm talking about, guys? I'm glad we looked back over here. Look, everybody's starting to sell. Now, it doesn't mean nothing. It just means a whole bunch of them said, okay, that's enough. It could still go, okay, it could still go back up, but sometimes it don't. Sometimes it will just c continue that downward spiral. So let's just sit here and watch. And this is the reason why I'm telling you guys to not to gamble. It would have been real tempting, in case you guys didn't understand what I meant a while ago. I had this automatic, I had a limit order, a limit order to automatically sell for a dollar ten. And here we was, got caught up in watching these candlesticks and watching it go up all day long. It would have been really easy in our mindset to go, oh man, this thing's going to keep going up. Man, I need to cancel my order. So I'd have canceled it. And guess what? We would have already lost three cents already. Thinking it's going to keep going past a dollar ten. This is the point, I'm telling you, this is the part where I'm trying to under make you guys understand the gambling part of this. You don't want to do that. We basically come in here, guys, and we know exactly what we want to profit. In other words, we take our little software, right? And look, guys, see, going on down. Um, shares. What was it? 935 shares, all right. How many shares was that? Deck of it. Positions. What did... Oh, got it written down. This is why you write them down, guys. Jesus, Lord have mercy. I bought it for a dollar ten. No, no, I bought it for point nine six two two. Bought it. Point nine six two two. Point nine six two two. There we go. Shares was 1117. That ain't right either, is it? No. The shares was 935 shares, excuse me. 935 shares. There we go. Yes, I spent 900 bucks is what I spent. Jesus, man. All right, 935 shares. But now I don't forget what I was even showing you this. Why was I even showing you this? Oh. We basically, as my students, guys, what I'm trying to teach you guys and hoping you guys are learning this is to go ahead and set the, set the profit that you want to make on that stock and leave it the freak alone. Once you, once you buy it and it fills, in other words, it fills the order. What fills the order basically means is they went ahead and filled it. You, you were able to buy those shares and it'll let you know. Um, then you want to come over here and finagle with this price. Now... I actually did, just to be honest with you, I had it at a dollar fifteen. I did <laughs> had it at a dollar fifteen. But I honestly it was so far away from that dollar fifteen guys. All right, let me show you what I'm talking about. And I done had it since yesterday. Right? Today it started at eighty five cent. You see how far a dollar fifteen is? It's way off the chart, guys. The chart only goes up dollar ten right now. It literally had to climb all the way up. Normally what you guys can see is this right here. You'll see you come here and you'll see it go all the way freaking down here. But this stock, right? Luckily, you know, we were blessed today. Thank you, God. We were blessed that it just kept on climbing. Kept on climbing. Kept on climbing. Kept on climbing. And now it looks like it's probably fixing to fall, but it may not. You may not, you never know. But who cares? We've done we've decided on our price by the software we use. We decided, hey, I'm gonna, I wanna, I wanna profit, whatever. So, so I, like I said, I had it at dollar fifteen, which would have uh, been 175 bucks. But then I came over here uh, after they got out of the pool, and I was like, man, that's got a long way to freaking climb. And then what I did was this: I went back to the five-day chart real quick, and I actually, I went here, and it was a dollar fourteen, right? But it was way, it was, it was yesterday, a dollar fourteen, yesterday. Um, at 9.30, it started at $1.14, but you see, this is my mindset, you see what it did was it fell, and then it kept on falling, kept on falling, and kept on falling, kept on falling. And then today, all right, so so my mindset was, man, it's got a long ways. Go back to one-day chart. We're on the five-day chart right now, guys, right? I'm telling you guys over and over because I want you guys to understand this. So later on, you guys will be experts at this stuff. So my mindset was, man, dollar fifteen is a long way to climb. So I was like, well, what about dollar ten? So I, 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 modif I did. I modified the order for a dollar ten <clears throat> and told it to sell at a dollar ten instead of a dollar fifteen. And then I went back and got back in the pool, got back in the pool, chilled out, and then, um, and then I just came back in, 
got out of the shower and came in here in the home office and, and I saw it rising and it was almost about hit a dollar ten so I'm glad I recorded that for you guys. Alright, love you guys. See you guys on the next trading video. Alright guys, now this is after the fact. I'm going to actually show you what actually this did. Um, went all the way up, climb, 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 right around here somewhere. I was like, oh, let me change it. I actually had it uh, to sell at a dollar fifteen. Uh, changed my mind, just my gut feeling, guys. This is kind of why you want to, you know, kind of hang around somebody that's kind of intuitive on this stuff. Now, I'm not always like that now, but I'm kind of sort of somehow I get these gut feelings sometimes. It's not financial advice, guys. I'm a freaking idiot. You better not be listening to anything I say. I am stupid, and if you listen to anything I say, you're an idiot too. Don't take this as financial advice. I ain't trying to get in trouble with all that, guys. I'm just showing you guys uh, my stuff and hoping it kind of inspires you. All right. Hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Okay, so it went up. All right, now this chart isn't showing it, but actually... <coughs> sorry, guys. What the freak? This chart isn't showing it for some reason. Um, but it did. It hit a dollar ten somewhere around here. <sighs> Jesus. Sorry about that, guys. Right, now look though. Remember now it went it hit a dollar ten and then it literally it did not hit a dollar eleven, dollar twelve, it didn't it didn't go one penny above dollar ten, guys. And then boom. So I was right. Now now <sighs> if I if I'd have kept it at a dollar fifteen, I wouldn't it wouldn't have sold yesterday. Now now what I would have done, guys, now is this. Now see like I'm in, I'm telling you what I do in my trainings. I don't like lose trades, so I wouldn't have sold. You don't lose money until you. <laughs> what the heck am I sneezing? You don't lose money until you sell it. You understand? Just because it went down, it didn't mean you lost money. It just means the profits per share is going down. <laughs> Which is trying to tell you where you should sell it or where you want to sell that. But anyway, whatever you want to sell that. So if I sold down here. I only bought it, bought it at 83 cents, so I would have still made money. Hold on, guys. Sorry about that. Why the freak am I sneezing? All of a sudden, I turned the video on. I'm allergic to you guys. Okay, so so it hit it hit a dollar ten, and then it went down. So I was right. Oh, sorry, guys. I was right. My gut was right to sell at a dollar ten. Oh, but what I was going to tell you was this. Let's just say it went on down and I didn't sell it at $1.10. I still had $1.15. No big deal. I would have just held it, guys. I would not have sold it. I would hold it until the next day. Because you... Because it may go back up the next day, which is what I teach my students is not to sell. You know, don't sell. Keep it. You don't have to lose trades, guys. I'm telling you right now, guys. You guys, I know you guys don't believe this. But I'm telling you why. I haven't lost a single trade since I started trading. Not one. And But... 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 Oh God, man, am I allergic, y'all? But now, guys, let me tell you why. Because I didn't sell, I held it, guys. This is how you always win. You don't sell. Like, remember I told you guys, or you guys ain't trade. You guys that are not in my trade. God, is this killing y'all, man? I'm like about to sneeze. <laughs> I'll leave it in the video. I'm sorry, guys. Should edit this out. It's like I was telling you guys, the guys that are in my training gets to see all my behind the scenes videos and all that, my training and my war. God, now I can't sneeze. It just gets right here to the point. What is sneezing anyway? Do y'all guys know? I don't know. Um, What am I trying to tell y'all? Oh, in my training room, I showed you about this girl. This girl was talking about, I ain't losing money on no trades. I'll hold it till I die. Right now, that's pretty much, and she's being funny, but that's really kind of what I do, guys. I just don't sell it. I'll freaking hold that thing for another day or two, because what I have found, now look, though, now you research it. Now, I ain't going to get into all that. You guys aren't in the training. I was going to show you the research. I was about to tell you my research. Research pretty much gets you to where you're not buying at a losing price. So if you if you buy way the freak high, guys, it has the potential to go way the freak down, and there you are, and it don't go ever go back up, and there you are holding that freak thing forever. I don't I don't want to do I don't want to hold it forever, guys. Max two to three days. I hold something for two to three days, you know. That's max. And now what I mean by that is I don't sell it two to three days if it still don't go to my price that I want, or at least come back up to my matching price so I can sell it exactly what I bought it for. It just means <clears throat> in two to three days 
I'm counting on it to at least come back up to at least my uh, what I bought it for, at least that, and then I can sell it right then for no loss at all, right? But in my in my experience so far, in, within two to three times, if you if your price don't hit that day, like if, like if today it didn't hit that day, if I had a dollar fifteen, I'd wait the next day. It possibly may go back up to dollar fifteen tomorrow, basically, or the next day, right? Two to three days. Now that's, now that's all research, though, guys. That doesn't mean. See, in my mind, if I'd have, if I'd have bought the stock at a dollar twenty, right, I'd be screwed, right? Because it, it may not go back. It may not even go to a dollar twenty. Well, it might, but it, but it, but it most likely probably won't. I'm sorry, guys. I'm getting too far now. But if you come into my training, you guys will get to start off at the basics of my training, and I'll show you all this stuff and how I research stuff. And then you guys, you'll be an expert in two weeks. Just watch my videos. We got tons of videos in the, in the in the war room right now for you guys lined up. Like I said, this is not financial advice. I am an idiot. If you come into my training, you're an idiot too, all right? <laughs> but this idiot makes money. And and the, the cool part about all this, guys, it, for you guys that are uh, coming and watching my videos, most of y'all are, are in the internet marketing niche. The get rich quick, you know, jumping from program to program to program, trying to basically sell somebody on a product, right? Mostly in the internet marketing niche, you guys are just simply trying to sell somebody a product. Guys, you don't have to do that here. You don't have to do that. <laughs> in day trading, you simply just come in and just use your smarts. Uh, what, you, what, are you, what you really should do, this is not financial advice, is listen to somebody that's already doing this, that's, that's doing well, right? <laughs> like me, I'm doing kind of well. Uh, just listen to, you know, idiots like me. You know, not financial advice, but you can. God, man, why does the FTC make you say this stuff? You think the, you think people would just like, yeah, okay. You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe I think they just think you are dumb or something. And that we literally have to tell you all that, hey, you can lose money. Well, duh. Anyway, got to say it. Uh, uh, the guy the guy that I'm training up under, guys, he got hit, man. Because he was, he's selling his course for $6,500. I'm allowing you guys to come into me in my training and be a lifetime member. Right now, you you can be a lifetime member for $500. Guys, once I get my uh, uh, initial group of you guys, I got, I got a bunch of them right now. But once I get an initial group, and the, I'm going to have to start having testimonials, guys. Within a couple months, my people are going to be making money. And I'm going to show you guys. And then, then, it ain't going to be no $500 introductory price of lifetime membership. Then it ain't going to be lifetime at all. Then it's going to be a $5,000 per year membership. You pay five thousand dollars every year, but right now, guys, I am allowing you guys to come into my world and be in my group for five hundred dollars one time lifetime membership. You never have to pay any any more above that to be in the membership. Okay, but that's what I wanted to show you yesterday. This is what I wanted to add this on to the end. Is it literally started tanking, right? It went all the way dollar one, so we were right to sell a dollar ten. My gut said yes, do it. So I come here and modified order from dollar fifteen to dollar ten, and then we all watched it just ding hit. Now I'm gonna share, guys. If you if you're interested in this kind of stuff and you want to day trade, I'm going to in the war room, in the membership war room with all my members that come in, the ones that pay five hundred dollars for lifetime membership. These replays of me live trading, the replays is for you guys to learn. I'll, I'm gonna have replays of me training in the morning. Like right now, it's eight o'clock. Now the pre market is going on right now, which I won't talk to you guys about that right now. Pre market pre market trading is going on right now. It, it starts at four o'clock this morning, and I was actually up at four thirty looking at some stuff because I actually I'm looking at a stock, guys. I ain't gonna show y'all here, but there's a stock that literally went from four dollars. Listen to me, went from four dollars a share all the way to fourteen freaking dollars a share. Fourteen dollars, not fourteen cent. Yesterday, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna make another video sh uh, showing you guys that kind of stuff. Do you know what that means? Let me share, let me share with you if you don't know what that means. <clears throat> All right, so let's just say you buy two thousand dollars, and you bought it at four dollars, right? Four dollars, not four cent, four cent, forty cent. You bought it at four dollars, and and it went up to fourteen dollars. That's 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 a ten dollar profit per share. See, it says ten dollars per share, and you bought five hundred shares. Four dollars. Now, guys, what that means is, if you spend two thousand dollars and it's four dollars per share, you divide two thousand by four. Two thousand. You spent two thousand, and you and it's four dollars per share. So you divide that. So that means you can buy five hundred shares. That's what that does. Now, this software does this automatically for you, so you don't have to use that stupid calculator. Right, look, 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 look. Five thousand dollars is what you would have made yesterday. That's what I would have made if I'd have picked that stock. Here's the crazy part, guys. Let me tell you something. Here's the crazy part. That stock was on my watch list. I just didn't invest in it. You know why I didn't invest in it? Because Webull only had me at a $1,000 uh, credit to buy yesterday until all my funds can come in there. Now, my funds, I'm hoping, is going to be here today, I hope. 
uh, but then I can then I can start doing some damage. But I only had a thousand dollars, and I'd already bought the Chris stock, not financial advice. Um, but if I'd have bought that stock, I'd have been I'd have been uh, well, I only had a thousand dollars to spend, so I would have been this. This is what I made on it. Oops. Gotta put my sale price in there. Uh, fourteen. I'd have made twenty-five hundred dollars if I'd have bought that stock instead of the Chris stock. This is the most exciting part, guys, is you never know. Now, what I teach my students is to buy two to three stocks and trade to trade two to three stocks and spread. Okay, I'm not getting into that. Anyway, come to my training, guys, if you want. It's five hundred dollars, one-time lifetime membership. If not, stay out there and get rich quick. Program land, if you want. Here, you ain't selling nobody nothing. You literally get to come in and freaking use your brain, listen to other people's brains, and just invest some money and let's spit out cash. Put two grand in, spits out five hundred. Put a hundred dollars in, spits out around fourteen dollars. Alright? You can start wherever you have to start, guys. Yes, you can start trading with a hundred dollars. You can do that. But as a bonus, guys, as a bonus right now, for my group, this initial group as a bonus, just for this initial group now, I have a unique hack, guys. I'm gonna show you guys how to go get ten thousand dollars worth of money to trade with yes and it's not borrowed money I'm gonna show you that's actually going to be in the training today or not today but I'm actually putting that in there in the back office I'm actually gonna make that video today or tomorrow but that's gonna be in there where I show my members how to go get a quick ten thousand dollars it's not borrowed money and guess what look, look listen you do not have to pay it back either it's literally ten thousand dollars cash you're gonna get you're gonna grab it you're gonna use it to day trade with so then you can come here and uh, instead of instead of using hundred dollars to trade with you can use ten thousand now guys, I don't know if you think I'm full of crap or whatever, but what I just told you is true. And if you're if you don't come in for the bonus, I'm just gonna say it, man. You're a freaking idiot. You're an idiot. <laughs> I'm just telling you. Anyway, all right. Well, I'm an idiot too. So don't take this as financial advice. Everything I said on this video was a complete lie. I'm just an idiot, and don't take my don't take any advice from me. All right, love you guys. Have a good one. Link will be in the description. If it ain't in the description, just ask for video, guys. Ask for a video, and I'll give you guys the introductory video to my day trading. And you can come on in if you want for one time, 500 bucks. Get my bonus right now. Like I said, now that bonus is only for 20 people, the first 20 people. I, right now, I have 10, 10 people, 10 students. But now that 10, the other 10, I've got a couple more that's supposed to be paying. One's supposed to pay today, and one's supposed to pay uh, tomorrow, whatever. But i got 10 students right now. That means i got 10 spots left before that bonus, the $10,000 hack, goes away. Now, guys, listen to me. I don't talk bull crap. If I tell you it's 20, it's 20. After 20, you're not getting it. You're not getting the $10,000 hack. So you can be idiots if you want and wait. And because cause, cause I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep shoving this stuff in y'all's face on Facebook. So you might as well unfriend me. I'm going to keep showing you guys live how I keep making money and day trading. It's stupidly simple. Ask for the video or click or either click the link in the description. If you're interested, guys, come on in. Get the bonus now. you got 10 more spots for the bonus. After that, it's gone. And... Have a good one, guys. Love you guys. Hope you guys do well. Even if you don't want to day trade, that's fine. Stay out there and freaking crazy. Get rich quick marketing land where you're trying to beg a $25 bill out of somebody. All right. See y'all.